Welcome to another episode of the B League. Jules, I hate to start on a downer, but I was watching Kickoff last week. Great show, absolutely love it. Love it. Something disappointed me though, because Harry Kuehl was live in the studio. They didn't ask him one question. The guy's standing there. He's one of the most decorated Socceroos ever. Harps ignored him. Tara ignored him. What's going? on? He's right. They ask him a question. Wow, they've changed, haven't they? And then it got weirder because yesterday uh, at the game, Zappa had a chance to chat to Harry, and this is what happened. Captain of the Melbourne Heart, Harry Kuehl, joins me now. Uh, Harry, a big game for the Melbourne Heart tonight. Harry? Harry? <gasps> wow, What's it's, going uh, on? it's because Zappa's not wearing politics, Sam. Oh, Harry right. takes it very badly. But look, it's time to spill the beans. Fox Sports actually have a Harry Kuehl cloning factory in oh, Melbourne. There it is. So they weren't the real Harry Kuehl, No, then? they're all susceptible to injury and highly flammable. So stay <laughs> clear, kids. <laughs> okay. uh, but Sam, on to other matters. A lot of new players are coming to new clubs at the moment. And you, and it's very good of you, did your best to welcome Carlos Hernandez to Wellington Phoenix. Welcome to my seminar, or seminar, as I like to call it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do today is teach you guys some Spanish. Quiero ducharme contigo. Quiero ducharme contigo. Me pongo un panal para adultos. Me pongo un panal para adultos. See, you're not getting it. Um, how can I explain this? Think Les Murray. Me pongo un panal para adultos. El semillario fe muy duro, pero felo mentore ya con la ori de vez y puite en hablar con Carlos Hernández o su lengua nativ. Carlos, thank you very much for your time today. I've got a few of the key players in here and they've learnt some Spanish, your natural language, to welcome you to the club. So, Leo, over to you. What would you like to say to Carlos Hernández? Hola, Carlos. <laughs> Quiero ducharme contigo. Um, quiero ducharme contigo. <laughs> Hello, Carlos. I want shower with you. <laughs> Leo, we would never have picked that about you. Quiero ser un modelo masculino. Want a model masculine. He wants a male model. He yeah. wants to meet a male model. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Pongo un panal para adultos. I push one uh, nappies. <laughs> He wears nappies. Yeah. That's what he said. I first one nappies for adult, adults. Paul Eiffel <laughs> wears adult nappies, is what we just learned. What would you like to say in response to the boys? No, no problem. <laughs> I, I, I shower with Leo, I push the nappies to, yeah. to oh. a boat and teach a mother who... Brilliant, Dura. brilliant. What a bonding session this has been. Well done, boys. Good job, good job. Thank you, Carlos. Wow, male model showering in nappy, Sam. Yeah. I call that Friday night. Fun times in Wellington. Uh, look, last night, Jules, we were lucky enough to, I guess our career highlight last night was to host the Referee of the Year night. Chris Griffiths-Jones, oh. the great man, the marquee referee, was there. That's us in the background. Then we got a, one of our 78 photos with him. We got yeah. him to run backwards. That was a crowd pleaser, wasn't it? He is a crowd pleaser, isn't he? And look, we also got a bit hot and heavy with uh, KJJ. <laughs> yeah. Who wouldn't? But Things, he picked uh, up a swag of got awards, out of control. Sam. Well, let's go through just some of the awards he won last night that we presented. Uh, the 2013 Lady Slayer of the Year Award. The Outstanding Contribution to Hyphenated Surnames in Refereeing. The uh, guy is on fire, so we salute you once again, KGJ. Keep up the great work. Uh, it's been a busy episode so far, Sam, so now it's time for a musical interlude. Flores flavor. Flores flavor. Flores flavor. Feet now, I like your pants around your feet now. Flores flavor, Flores flavor, Flores flavor. Sorry to any of our female viewers who just got pregnant after watching <laughs> that segment. That's flavor spelt F L A V A. Uh, and now, Sam, it's time for the return of our seventh most popular segment, the B League Juggle Off. <laughs> Anthony Golick, Adelaide is famous for its pie floaters, so your B-League juggle-off challenge is... The pie floaty challenge. You're wearing floaties, you're going to be keeping these pies afloat. It kicks off in three, two, one, juggle-off. Juggle okay. Okay, let's add some more pies, Sam. Yeah, good idea. Here's okay. a fourth pie on this side. Okay. Maybe There's we get another. Bruce Jutte, we'll get him to come in and maybe put some sauce, because you can't have a Go pie on, without sauce. Nice job there, Bruce. <laughs> oh, good it's job. Not. It's all over. It's all <laughs> over. <laughs> well, that's not enough sauce. <laughs> <laughs> They're frozen. <laughs> 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 
Wow. wow, and if you take a look at the leaderboard, he is absolutely smashing it. He's 11 seconds ahead of his nearest competitor, That Jules. is outstanding, Sam. Great work. But now it's time to award the Golden Cornthwaite, which we... It's a prize for online excellence, Sam, for your tweets, for your Facebook posts, for your chat roulettes. I'll stop mentioning Please it, I stop promise. stop mentioning it, mate. OK, I love, you know, I love to do it. Uh, <laughs> but look, who is the winner this week? Well, we started with a photo that was doing the rounds. Uh, have a look at this. People are wondering, what's Holger going to do now that he's not the coach of the Socceroos? Apparently, he's set up his own furniture store uh, on the Northern Beach as he uh, specialises in antique furniture <laughs> chills. But our favourite post related to that was from Renee Pozzi. Yes, and she wrote, Disclaimer, too much pressure may cause the structure to fall apart. Bravo, bravo. Great comment, Renee. We loved it so much. Here is your highly personalised reward. Hi, guys. I'm Robbie Corthwaite, and I'd like to present this week's Golden Corthwaite 2... Renee Pozzi. All because you... Commented on Holger. Congratulations, Chef. Wow. And Renee, this is in the mm. post to you this week. And remember, keep your Facebook comments and tweets coming through at the B League. Now, we heard earlier in the show from Marcos Flores with some Flores flavour. We found out that he can make anything sexy and sensual. He did it to Nickelback. Can he do it to this vision? Like your pens are on your feet now. I like your pens are on your feet now. He absolutely can. You know what? Okay. Normally, Stephen McGarry in white undies bending over would be disgusting. Put Flores behind it, wow. you've got flavour. I can watch that over and over, but we haven't got time, Sam. It's the end of the episode. As we always say, good night, B-leaguers. And good night, Ross Aloisi. This is the outro song.